Let's check out the brand new Charizard and Pikachu edition Hori Split Pad Pro. That's right, Hori sent us the brand new latest editions of the Hori Split Pad Pro, which is the Charizard and Pikachu editions right here. So they did send them to us for free, but we are under no obligation to sway our opinion or anything like that. This is just a sample that's been sent for us to check out. But yeah, just quickly, if you don't know about the Hori Split Pad Pro, it's these. These are the originals that I got way back when Demon X Machina, or however you say that game, came out. And that's what these were designed for. But then they kind of took off and became their own thing. And now there's tons of different editions. You can get Sonic and all that good stuff. They have the best joystick accuracy out of any Joy-Con alternative I've tested. But enough of that. Let's check out these new ones. So here's the box, which is really, really cool. You've got Pokemon, because these are officially licensed Joy-Cons from Nintendo and officially licensed Pokemon Company ones as well. And of course, these are the latest ones that have just come out. So let's get into it, shall we? So opening up the box, I'm pretty sure you don't really get much in the box other than the Joy-Cons themselves, but let's have a look. Oh, right, yep, that's that. There we go, and then you get whatever that is. We don't need that. And here we go, look at those, that's them. How cool is that? So let's take them out, shall we? Oh, these are looking so nice, especially in comparison to the original ones. And oh, they feel lovely. They feel so good. They feel really nice. Right, so here you go. That there is the Charizard side. So you've got Charizard up here. You can see everything is all like in theme. So even all the buttons are all in theme, even like the, the home button, the assign, the turbo, the plus, all the face buttons and the joystick and the bumpers and the trigger back there, as well as the back paddle as well, which is really, really cool. So these are super nice looking. And of course, let's check out the other side. So this is the other side with Pikachu on it, Pikachu. And then we've got, you know, the rest of it is in theme. You've got the colored D pad, you've got the, the uh, screenshot button and the sign turbo minus, of course, the joystick, as well as the bumpers and the trigger back there and the back paddle as well. So you can probably see that these are textured. So like if you get your nail and rub it up and down, you can feel that there is some slight textured grip on there. So this is the original, mine are a little bit beaten up, but they are still exactly the same. I mean, everything is identical just here, other than the fact that these are completely plain, but I don't think they've changed anything at all. It's just a new colorway. But I was sort of surprised or like interested to see if they changed anything at all, because these ones here, the original ones are quite old now. I've had these for probably like two or three years or something like that. So I did want to see if there was any differences, but it looks like they're absolutely identical still to the originals. But of course we just get this lovely sort of design. Let's quickly have a look at the other side. So pretty much exactly the same as we'd expect really. And on the sides just there and on the back, and on the top, so yeah, they are the same as the original ones, but of course they just look amazing. This is the original Joy-Con. You can see sort of like how small that is, and of course it's flat, so there's like no ergonomics to that whatsoever. So it's not very comfortable, so over time you end up getting a bit of hand cramp. Whereas look at this, this is the same size, look at it, it's like four times bigger. And of course, there is actually some sort of ergonomic grips going on here. So you, straight away you can see how much bigger they are, but that really aids in how comfortable they are to hold. Because straight away, look at that. That big grip just here, you can get your hand right on it and it feels so much nicer than this tiny little flap thing that's like, you know, it doesn't really sit in your hand very well. It's really crampy to get to, well, what should be a D-pad. And this one, you know, ah, perfect placement straight away. And again, I've got medium sized hands and these are aimed at more medium sized to large hands. So I would say those with smaller hands need to check out the Hori Split Pad Compact, which we've got videos on as well. So if you want to see a full blown in-depth review of the Hori Split Pad Pro, well then check it out on the channel. I'll link it at the end of this video. Straight away, I wanna say what they can and can't do if you're not aware. So what they can do is give you larger joysticks. So you have more range of motion, 
on the joystick. So when you look at this, look at look at how like rubbish the movement is there. Yes, I have got a grip on top of this, but there's not very much movement on that joystick at all. Whereas check this out, on this one, there's so much movement, which means you've got far better accuracy, especially for like FPS games, for example. So they've got larger joysticks, they've got larger face buttons, pretty much just larger everything. Now what they do also have, they have a sign and turbo. So a sign means you press a sign and then any of the buttons on this side and that will assign it to the back paddle on that side. The same again with this one, if I press a sign and then like D-pad down, for example, that's going to assign to this back paddle. But you cannot assign any of these buttons to that side, it's gotta be like self-contained in its own unit. They also have turbo. So if I press turbo and then press like L, then when I hold down L, that's going to repeat that action. So it's gonna keep pressing it for me, even though I'm not actually doing anything. If I press turbo and L again, it's going to repeat it whilst it's not being pressed. So I don't have to do anything and it will keep pressing. If I pressed L, well then it would actually like pause the turbo until I release my finger again. If I press turbo and L again, well then what that will do is cancel it out. And yes, you can assign turbo to whatever you've assigned on the back paddle as well. But unfortunately, what they don't have is wireless so there is no wireless at all. There's no batteries in these. They purely work off of the switch power alone, so you can't use these wirelessly. There's no rumble, there's no gyro, and there's no NFC either, which is sad, but I imagine the reason behind that is just because of production cost, maybe. If they put all of those features into something like this, the cost would be probably through the roof. But let's chuck them onto the switch, shall we? So let's get these out of the way and get our switch and slide that one on there and slide this one on there and there you go that's what this looks like straight up it looks freaking cool <laughs> like i think that looks amazing so you can see now like the uh, the grips and the ergonomics let's go for a top shot down and how it looks underneath as well and of course you've got these sort of standoffs here so that when it's sat down it's not got pressure to flex the screen on the rails so you don't want to get rid of these you know, keep keep those on because that is there for your Switch's protection. So let's just jump into a game, shall we? So, oh look, I'm in Pokemon Violet. So, oh yeah, cool. This is this is it. So obviously the the game's performance uh, is questionable, but with these on, it's going to be so much nicer to play handheld at least compared to uh, using the original Joy-Cons because these just feel so much nicer. But just look how cool that looks. Like, look how cool these, like, colorway designs are. And I do have to say, they feel amazing. So this is not going to, like, scratch off. This is, like, actually in the plastic. It is really, really cool. And I'm sorry if you can hear crazy rain because we're in the middle of, like, I don't know, a freaking hurricane or something, it seems like. <laughs> these are amazing. I really, really like the design of those. And especially when you compare it to these. I mean, these just look so bland and boring now. But there we go. That is the Charizard and Pikachu edition. They also have the other ones, which I think are Pikachu and L Luxario? L Lucario? I don't know how to say its name, but there is another colorway as well. But Andy, how much are these? How much do these cost? So, well, they're pretty much the same price as all the other colorways. So in the UK, they retail for around the 50 pound mark. I think on Amazon, they're around 54 pounds. But of course, with sales and stuff like that, you might be able to find them cheaper, but they have just released. So they're probably gonna stay at full price for a little while now. So what do you think of the Charizard and Pikachu edition Hori Split Pad Pros? I think they're awesome. I mean, obviously there's no difference from the other ones. So if you've already got a pair of the normal ones or whatever, well then that's up to you if you just want a stylistic choice, if you want something to look cool. If you've already got some, it might not be worth it unless you really, really want a cool design. And they certainly look a lot better than these original ones, I can tell you that. But yeah, I think they're really cool. I absolutely love that design. So if you want to see what I think of the Hori Split Pad Pro in general, go and check out our review, which will be just here. So this is my review of the Hori Split pad pro and if you want to see the hori split pad compact which is for smaller to medium sized hands go and check out that review down here as well so you can see both of those just here and of course make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one